Hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here with wet hair, so that usually means I'm gonna talk about hair, of course. Um, I actually got a comment, you know, at the end of my videos, I always say, please leave ideas for other videos down below, and sometimes people do it, and sometimes they don't. Well, I actually got a good comment from a guy called Yusef A, and he said that he likes the grooming products I use, but for a broke student, they can be a little bit pricey. Um, so he asked if in the future I'll be able to do a video about uh, grooming products on a budget, like hair products in particular on a budget, and that is exactly what I'm going to talk to you guys about today. I've always been lucky enough to know someone who knows someone who can kind of get me cheap products or um, they, I get gifted product, which is really, really good, but that isn't everyone's life. And when I was a student, I remember I was using like the very kind of basic hair product from like pound stretchers. Some of it was good, like some of it was really, really good. So I have four products that I bought from the high street, um, so from pharmacies, uh, drugstores, as you call them in the US, um, and I'm pretty much gonna do my hair, talk you through it, let you know what I think about them, and then at the end we'll kind of dissect it all and talk about which one is the best budget product. Okay, so the first product I picked up is by Lynx. I believe in the US they're called Axe. Um, as you can see, £4.29, pence, so well under a fiver. Um, Lynx have been kind of like trying to rebrand themselves re recently and make themselves a little bit cooler. So yeah, they've been rebranding, they've done a really cool um, clothing collection with ASOS. So this product is called Peace and it's Natural Look Cream Soft and Touchable Control. So it says, scoop a finger full of cream and rub between your thumbs. Thumbs? Hands? Well, I don't know where I got that from. It's quite spongy. But I'm gonna shut up, let's give it a go. Now, usually in my tutorials I'll use like a base product, like a gel or a mousse, um, but that's just me being extra fancy and um, so I'm not going to use that because I feel like it's an unfair advantage to the products. I've washed and shampooed my hair and I'm just going to blow it, dry, blow dry it back as usual. Um, all, the pro all the hairstyles I'm going to do um, are just kind of my basic everyday hairstyles, so less about style, more about the product. My hair is finally dry, that took forever, but so the Lynx product, let's give it a go. Take a little bit, it feels really weird, it feels like really tough yoghurt. <laughs> um, weird consistency as well actually. Smells really good. You know, when you get like body wash for men it has that real like aftershavey smell. So yeah, I've just done that. Rub it all through. See what it's like. It's going in very easy, it's taking a little bit more effort to rub in. That could be because I've got black hair though. And um, products always show up in my black hair. It always takes a little while to get it rubbed in properly. So this said, um, what we got? Fluff taming with added texture for a touchable and natural look. I don't know how natural this is. It's a little, got a little bit of a shine to it. Like a wet look almost kind of feel. Smells really good. I really like the smell of it. That's really, really nice. It's holding really well. That I just realized it's just on my hair. <laughs> I've just done it in like, Two minutes, um, product went in really, really smoothly, but like I said, I have black hair, so the product's gonna show up a little bit. Seems to be holding really well as well. Um, obviously with hairspray, the product's gonna hold whatever. Overall, that was pretty good. For four quid, like just over four quid, that's, that's actually okay, and it is very, very reworkable. I actually really, really like this. This is really, really good. So now I'm gonna wash my hair, blow dry it again, and then we'll try the next product. Okay, next up we have VO5 Extreme Style Matte Clay for texture and definition with a matte finish. Um, I bought this for four pounds, no, five pounds. I just found it on superdrug.com for 2 99 so it ripped off a little bit. A clay is always used for matte finishes with a lot of texture, um, or even just sweat back I also use it for. So let's give this a go. I used to use VO5 a lot when I was younger as well. It's not really got much of a smell to it, which I sometimes actually prefer. Looks like that. See, that's like an off greeny kind of colour. Um, really kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna blow dry my hair, then we'll put the product in. I swear my hair is taking longer and longer to dry. So let's give the matte clay by Theo5 a go. Digging my finger in. Ah. This feels wetter. I know that's, that's weird, but it's, it feels more liquidy than a few clays that I have. Usually clays are kind of um, a bit rougher, and some of them almost have like a little granulated feel to them. This feels a little bit, a little bit wetter, like it's gonna give me more of a shine in that matte texture, but we will see. So with clays, I like to just rub them in everywhere because it's texture we're after. 
So I like to go all through with my hair, just pushing it all back like per usual. Wow, that went in incredibly easy. Like I didn't even have to rub it too much. It's all off my hands now. Although where's my towel? Ooh. Instant volume up in there. Usually to get this volume, I have to use like a gel or a mousse. Um, well, that's I'd usually use a gel or a mousse, but this product seemed to have just popped my hair right up. I'm really impressed with that. I really like that. There's a, there's a little bit of a smell to it. I did say it smelled unscented before, a little bit, but it's not that really horrible, strong, manly smell you get with male products that I feel like companies put into male products to prove to men that they're masculine. Incredibly light, it's holding pretty well as well. I like that, guys, I like that. And then again, with um, hairspray, you're gonna get a good hold out of this, definitely. You can actually get it for $2.99 online. Um, VO5 is in the States. I saw it in CVS while I was out there. But yeah, this is really good too. Gonna wash my hair, the next product. So my hair's all washed. The next product is Garnier Fructis Surf Hair. I bought this for $4.25, but surprise, surprise, I found it a lot cheaper online. I'm gonna go back to this shop tomorrow and throw all the products in their faces and swear at them a lot. So this is a matte texturizing gum, uh, surf hair with bamboo extract, beach look, stronghold number two. I'm not sure how strong that is. Let's take a little look at it. Mm. <laughs> so it's like this. Oh, very, very light, very fluffy. Uh, again, gonna dry my hair and then put it to the test. Okay, hair's dry. Let's give the Garnier Fructis style surf hair a go. Now I'm guessing with a surf hair product, you want that kind of shabby, uh, lots of texture in your hair kind of look. So this will probably be good if you have a fringe or if you have a bit longer hair and you want that kind of textured, messy look. Um, but let's see. Oh, it's very, very wet. A little bit difficult to rub in. Actually, it's very difficult to rub in. It feels like I got rubber gloves on and I'm trying to get through my hair. <laughs> Actually hurts a little bit. Uh, kind of dried out quickly. It is, it, mm. <laughs> so I've rubbed it all through, but it's kind of stuck my hair together. It's making very, it's making it very difficult for me to rub my fingers through, like to kind of really work in the product, um, and not very controllable. I don't think I'm doing this product justice, first of all, because I think you do have to have a lot of texture going on. But for the sake of this experiment, I'm wanting to do the same style. Um, no, I can't. It's weird, it's kind of taken to my hair in certain places, but then it's kind of acting as if it hasn't even touched my hair in other places. Like, here it's kind of like really soft still, and then at the front it's all kind of matted together, and it's not good. <laughs> I hate speaking badly of products, but I think for, for, for overall complete control of hair, this isn't the best product to use. It smells decent, but that's not, no, no. <laughs> Basically. Zowie. There is one more product to try. So stick with me guys, there's one more product to try and then I'm gonna rank them in order of the best for your buck and then the kind of just stay away from, if that makes sense. Cool. The next product I have is by L'Oreal Paris. Studio line, style rework, remix fiber putty. 24 hour reshaping effect. So I'm guessing this is a reworkable putty that they said you can uh, rework for up to 24 hours. Who would want to do that? I'm not sure. Wow, it smells incredible. Mm. Mm. So let's give this a go. No, I need to dry my hair first. Just gonna mention again, I paid five pounds for that. Found it for half the price online, so yeah. Okay, the hair's dry, so let's go. Well, weird kind of texture, it's like a little bit stringy. Like, you know when you used to get your prick stick and do that thing? So it should be interesting to see how it goes in. It's working this through. There's a lot of little bits falling off it. Not happy about that, it's on my clothes now. It's very, very wet looky, which is quite cool if that's what you're after. Like, if you guys had that kind of typical disconnected undercut, like myself, wet look products always look good, just kind of pushing the hair right back. Not sure how reworkable this would be for up to 24 hours. Uh, God knows what you're doing up for 24 hours. Anyway, looks good. I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't 
Again, because I'm doing the same hairstyle for everyone, I'll probably use this for a side parting or a smarter kind of style. It's alright. It's alright. If, if you can't afford to buy a pomade or a pricey pomade, this is a very good alternative. Now I'm done, let's take a look at all the products and kind of review them. I'm going to start with my least favourite product and then reveal the best one at the end because, you know, that's an interesting way of doing it. My least favourite, I'm afraid to say, has to be this Garnier Fructix um, surf hair stuff. It just, it, it's a matte tex texturising gum, but I feel like for matte texture, you don't want to shine, you want to be able to work it in a little bit more. This hardened up too quick, it was shiny, um, it just didn't take to certain parts of my hair, which is really weird, it might just be my hair, but I've never had a product do that before, so um, to be honest with you, I just don't think it's worth it, to be honest. Coming in third place is the L'Oreal Paris Style Rework. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. why? Why? Why so? Um, a little bit messy, <laughs> I was being super picky. I can't actually see this restyling for 24 hours. It doesn't hold enough for you not to want to spray it and keep your hairstyle in place. It's like my hair's kind of moving around and dropping out already. So that's the thing, once you've sprayed your hair, you're not going to be able to rework it. And I do feel like you need to spray your hair to keep your product, to keep your hair in place, to keep your style in place if you're going to use this product. Smells good. Feels good, rubs in very easy. It, this is great if you want slick back, smart looking hair, but yeah, you will have to spray this in place. It's not gonna hold for 24 hours without any help. So the top two I'm unsure about. They're both really, really good. They're both really good. Um, but I'm not sure what one's better than the other one, but I am gonna say coming in second place is the VO5 Extreme Style Matte Clay. It's just really good, like it gave me instant volume, it looked matte, um, unlike the Garnier one that said it's matte and it's not. Um, it was actually matte, gave me really really good hold. I could see it holding for a little while, but obviously with every hairstyle I like to spray my hair in place. Not that fragrance, which I really really liked as well, and this is up there with some of the more pricier products I have, you know. Then of course, coming out at first place, and I think this is only because I'm really surprised that Lynx has made a product like this. I'm not sure why, because they're, I used to love their fragrances when I was younger. They do great shampoos, body washes, um, and I've just never tried their hair stuff before. And I'm just really pleasantly surprised. I mean, uh, natural look cream, soft and touchable control, completely true, rubbed in quite well. I mean, I have black hair, so all products don't really rub that well into my hair, especially when they're white. Smells good. But what I think I like about this the most is that it's extremely, extremely versatile. Um, it's soft enough to apply into wet hair if you want a bit of extra hold, then use this on top of it. It's matte enough for you to be able to create messy texture, but then it's also reworkable, has enough hold for you to be able to do formal styles. So this is a great all-rounder, the overall winner. In fact, f*** all them, <laughs> just get this. Two quid, I just, yeah, I think this is really good. But no, honestly, these two, top of the high street, really, really surprised, really pleasantly surprised. So yeah, I hope that helps some of you guys. Um, I might do a skincare one of this. I, I don't really shop in like pharmacies for my skincare, but I might, you know, try a few out and see how that goes. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Big thumbs up if you like the video, it really helps me out to let me know whether to carry on doing things like this or to move on to something different. And as always, I try and reply to all comments, so leave your comments down below um, and any ideas you have for videos. That's where this video came from. It's one of your guys' ideas, so yeah, uh, that would really help me out. And for now, I will see you next week. The L'Oreal Studio Line. L'Oreal Studio Line. What? It's L'Oreal Studio.